Hi and welcome to this tutorial about KST, a very fast and user-friendly open source cross-platform 2D plotting tool. This tutorial introduces equations, power spectra and various types of plugins including fits and filters. To get started I will load data from an existing ASCII file. Here I load a number of acceleration data and I will stop for a second at this page of the data wizard. Previously in other tutorials I loaded only data to make uh, XY plots here. In this case I checked the Create Spectra Plots option. There you can select various FFT options which are pretty standard for a sort of computation. So I will use these for instance and proceed. But you could play with the different uh, controls to see all the options which are offered. Types of windows and so on. Now if I look here at plus plot placement I can select the option to have X, Y and Spectra plots created in separate new tabs which is what I'll do when I hit finish I get two views or tabs the first one loading the plotting the A as function of X data time series and the second one showing the Spectra so now I'd like to demonstrate uh, number of things you can do when you have to analyze data. First thing could be to create an equation which is basically a computation which is done point by point between a number of vectors which are interpolated to have the same number of points if it's needed here if you leave this option checked which is the case by default. Here I could for instance select to remove the minus one uh, bias, constant bias from this vector here. I have to go to this field. When I start to type I have a built-in help which allows me to be quicker in the selection of the vector. Here for instance the XZ type 1 and then I can add 1. I will leave the automatic name here and place it in uh, an existing plot which is this one here so that I can compare the values. So apparently the X vector was not correct so I will fix this by double clicking on the curve and here selecting time. Okay so there I get my two exactly identical curves one being offset by plus one compared to the other one. So that was the first type of object so-called equations. You can have in equations pretty much all the functions you want you see them here in the list should fit most of the needs you will have. The next type of derived object I would like to introduce is so-called filters. Filters are most conveniently selected by doing a right mouse button click on the plot selecting here filter which will pull up a list of uh, available curves so here I will select this curve I get a dialog where I have the vector preselected. I can select, uh, for instance, a low pass filter here for the demonstration. I only have to give the order of the filter and here the parameters I want to filter with, which in this case have to be a cutoff frequency ratio with a sample rate in Hertz. So for my settings, this should uh, be a good value will change the appearance of the created curve so that we can distinguish it from the other one and hit OK. So there as you see I get the result which is basically my original curve with uh, quite nice filtering. That was a filter type of plugin. Another type of plugin I'd like to demonstrate is a so-called fit which you can call pretty much the same from the right mouse button here. I will do this uh, for this vector here. I can select between different types of predefined fit functions. I'll do a polynomial fit for the demonstration, sixth order for instance, uh, and place it in the existing plot. Hit OK. And there you get your curve which is here this red line where we can see that the fit is pretty much uh, okay 
and it also creates a string where I can read out the values of the various fit parameters. Now that was the second type of plugin, the so-called fit plugin. To demonstrate the general creation of a plugin, I would go here to the create menu, standard plugin and for instance re-add noise on the filtered signal I previously created here. So I could select here the low pass y vector, the result of the low pass filter which I created previously. I will define the amount of noise I want to have here and hit OK. Nothing happens because it's not a right mouse button integrated predefined filter or fit menu but a standard create uh, plugin. In that case it only created a vector which I will see if I go to the data manager here which is a pretty handy tool which allows you to list you can filter here and you can list the various types of objects you have curves, vectors, plugins, power spectra and so on. I will for instance here use the just created noise addition plugin object which produced a vector and I will make a curve out of this vector so I do a right mouse button here make curve as a function of X um, I will place it in an existing plot select uh, the color here why not leave it black and hit OK and there I get my curve with re-added noise. So basically this tutorial demonstrated how to create uh, basic types of analysis objects, equations, plugins of all types including fit and filter plugins and how to use the data manager. One very important note is that a lot of those plugins depend on a GNU scientific library, GSL, so please use a pre-compiled version of KC which has the dependency built in or if you compile yourself uh, pay attention to the CMake step where you can define the location and the usage of the external libraries which allow to extend greatly the functionality of KC. Thanks for listening.